Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to a bonus episode of Super Metroid with Rubberlink. Hello. So, as our uh, commenter, someone somewhere pointed out, there was a few things we did wrong or missed, so I decided we'd do a bonus episode. And uh, they actually let me know in that last comment they left on the finale that after you go into the new Turian and you get to the save station at the bottom, that's a soft lock. You can't get back out. Whoops. Ah. But luckily, like just a few sessions before that, I decided to make a backup copy of my save file in Super Metroid and also in uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, specifically because the weather has been getting a little worse around here and we are somewhat prone to having power outages. So I wanted to have a backup save file just in case... Uh, we lost power in the middle of a uh, recording session. Right. So because of that, I didn't actually have to start the game over. I just needed to beat Ridley again. So, yeah. So, I actually haven't told you... Yeah, I actually have not told you this yet, Robert Link, but I figured I'd tell you as I tell the audience. All right, fair enough. Saves time. So, one thing that I did kind of figure I did wrong was going back through here. And just tanking all the acid or whatever it is. It looks kind of like lava, but I guess it... I think... I think someone somewhere said it was acid. Hmm. So what you're supposed to do, apparently, is to go this way. Okay. So, I kind of noticed this when we were when I was editing the video, is that this thing actually also looks kind of like a face. Kind of like how we entered the Ridley head. That's how you mention it, yes. That thing over there, that green thing is supposed to actually be an eye. Yeah. So apparently there's a couple of secrets in here. One is right here. Apparently they, uh, the commenter out, meh, trying to speak too fast. Someone somewhere mentioned that the secrets in here cannot be found with the x-ray visor for some reason. Really? It's, I don't know why they decided to do that. Oh, and here's a hand or claw or whatever. Huh. But, uh, Yeah. This isn't actually the way I need to go, but this is just a secret that we missed. It's an energy tank. Wow. It was right there the whole time. Yep. Like, I kind of figured there was something up because the map uh, made it seem like there wasn't a floor where there should be one. Actually, that's not something we saw earlier. That's because I had already opened up that way in this save. Oh, uh, okay. So we wouldn't have seen that in our actual playthrough of it before. Oh, uh, okay. And then the way actually out oh. of here... I don't know why I remember it then. Anyways, yes, the way out of here is... All the way up here. Right. Right here. What? Oh. Yeah, and it also does not appear with the x-ray scope. Sorry, I've been calling it visor because I'm used to saying visor. It even doesn't have, like, a clean path through the map. Wow. And then I think over here, there's missile, and there is a way through here, but you require one of the upgrades that we missed. That is not required to and to finish the game. Really? So I'll also go get that real quick. And then what I'll do is, after I just sh show where that is, I'll probably load up my other save where I have gotten everything. And then finish the game again, hopefully with 100%, unless I somehow miss something. In which case, oh boy. I think there's also like a secret here. Nope. There it is. Ah. So, where are we on the map right now? We're still in Norfair. Okay. And this, this place over here should let out... Um back to one of the areas where we've already been close to where we got the wave beam, I believe. Okay. Uh, there's something to shoot here, I know. There. And then I think this is a one-way room or something. Yeah, I think this crumbles. Hmm. Whee! And now we're back here. With these weird 
seahorse with legs. Yes. Creatures. So now I'm going to go to Meridia and get the upgrade we missed. All right. So uh, I guess we'll be right back unless we have something interesting to talk about. Otherwise, we'll see you then. All right, we're back in Meridia. So I don't know if I required the space jump to be able to get this or not. I'm trying to think, did we get the space jump from that huge thing that looked green, kind of like these things, but bigger? I know what you're talking about. I can't remember if that's where we got the space jump. I want to say our commenter, someone somewhere, said it was called Dragon or something like that. I can't remember if that's where we got the space jump or not. But I imagine that might be what's required to get this expansion. Or upgrade, I mean. Hmm. And apparently there are some places where you can actually fall all the way through the moving quicksand or whatever and go to a new room doing that. And apparently that's where some of the expansions I missed were. Oh. So you're supposed to do it for some places. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Oops. Come on, let me do it. Fine, I'll just do the wall jump. <laughs> do it the old-fashioned way. Ah. It didn't let me do it again. Yeah. All right, so then here... There's a sequence of crumbling blocks, which makes this a one-way. So, yeah, right there. And that's why we couldn't get up to here. Hmm. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Machine, or whatever. So apparently we need to power bomb this. Whoops. It looks like it has a gun turret, but it's not shooting. Hmm. It's also very durable, apparently. Uh, don't mind me. So apparently you cannot destroy whatever those things are. What? So we need to rely on this dude. I thought that was all sand. It looks kind of like sand, but apparently it's not destructible by any weapon that I have. Okay, then. Huh. Interesting, uh, machine. There we go. All clear. I no longer need you. The frick was that? It was just bouncing around. All right, and then down here, if we go this way, huh, we can see there's something there. Okay. But, what's the catch? Well, it looks like we can't get back this way on our own. Okay. Huh. So, what is this? Spring ball. Spring ball? Huh. So, what, does it let you jump in morph ball? Yes, it does. Whoa. Um, there we go. Jump good in Morph Ball. Mm -hmm. So that is the upgrade that I missed. That is not necessary for completing the game. Ow. So, now that we've done that, I think I'll go to my other save where I've 100%ed the game, but not actually done the ending. And we'll see what that is, if it's any different. All right, then. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I have reduced my health to pretty much nothing. And I wanted to see if I could pull off that one maneuver, that um, crystal flare, I think it was called. So I want to say they said, select power bomb, go to morph ball, L and R down and X. Did I do it wrong? Or do I not? I'm 
Am I not doing this right? Hmm. I have no idea what's going on, by the way. This should be working. I think. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Is this, is this supposed to be that? Uh, Wait, oh. I did it. I'm not sure what I did differently, but that worked. Did that refill everything, including my... No, it did not. It, uh... It refilled all my energy tanks and then put what I had from my energy into the reserve. Okay. Huh. So, I don't know why that took so many attempts, but hey, eventually it worked. So apparently that's that secret thing called the crystal flare. Oh, wait. I should probably go refill everything. Probably. Yeah... A few minutes ago, I was wondering why uh, he I was, wasn't healing. Yeah, I was just sitting in some uh, acid for a while. Yeah. Letting the health tick away. I was like, ah, it's going to take a bit. <laughs> so, the maximum number of missiles is 230? Apparently. Unless, unless I still miss something, which I don't think I did. I mean, we should probably Google it before we actually get into a fight. I kind of okay. did. <laughs> so, I got some more expansions that I was able to find uh, off-screen before we before we started this recording session. And, whoops, I'm not going the right way. I think when I was done finding what I could easily and whatnot, there were still 20, 22 expansions I didn't find that I had to look up. Huh. Wait, I can just, if I can, there we go. Hmm. Yes, getting it to do the screw attack is sometimes difficult. It's like you can be walking and sometimes still do a normal jump for some reason. I like how they keep posting new pirates to this room. <laughs> of the same rank. And they just keep dying. All right, back to the statue. Die. And die. And die. Pew. Whee, they're dead. How polite of it to wait until you're nearby. It, it needed to have an audience. Yeah, I think in Zero Mission, it just showed you the room when it was happening, when those two heads were opening. Ah. Yeah, I do remember that. Remember that. Yeah. All right, so back down to Turian. So, I could save here, but I'm not going to. I might save at the lower save point. Alright. Because I did copy the save, so that I still have the one where we're not soft locked. Okay, so I just need to be aware of these Metroids. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, someone somewhere also said in their comment, it was, it was a long one, but I appreciate it. I read all of it. They said that in Fusion, if you get caught by SAX, they'll do the Ice Beam Missile Combo on you, because you're part Metroid. Really? Yep. I never did get caught, did I? I don't know. Or wait. I thought you did, but I don't know, maybe we weren't, we weren't paying that much attention. Cause I no, I do remember one time where, uh, where you have to run past her. It. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm getting a little better at this. I'd say so. 
Nope. You're terrible. You took you took ten damage. <laughs> and also it, the whole I wanna say the game time for this file is probably like seven hours by now. Hmm. It's probably nowhere near a speedrun or anything. I'm sure there are speedrunners who just cringed for no apparent reason. Alright, I gotta see if I can get out of this. Ah, uh, come on, please. Do I have two on me at once? I think so. Do you wanna just power bomb? Does that work on these? I thought it didn't. Oh wait, it did. Good suggestion, I guess. You're welcome. I was gonna say, I don't see why it wouldn't. I thought we tried that the first time we were down here. Hmm. When we first got down here, I was wondering if maybe the expansion that I, or the upgrade that I missed would have allowed me to kill these guys, but I don't think that's the case. Because we got the spring ball, which right. does no damage whatsoever. And yeah. I, I also realized when I was editing that these don't actually disintegrate until you interact with them. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you disintegrate? Because it hasn't been touched by that yet. Who's a good boy? That's right. So apparently this thing doesn't ah. doesn't rec recognize me at first, and that's the reason it's taking my health. Please free me. And then I guess that's when it realizes that, oh wait, you're Samus. Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll just hold on to it. You've been a bad Metroid. I'll leave. <laughs> so apparently that is, yeah, the baby Metroid, like I thought. Apparently, because it's so big, it is referred to as the Super Metroid, and that's why the name is called Super Metroid, which I didn't know. Ah. Uh, that actually might help me remember. <laughs> Are you getting it confused with uh, Samus Returns? Because that's what I've had you playing. Yeah. Which is the remake for the 3DS of the second Metroid. Yep. Unfortunately, we can't actually play that on the channel because 3DS doesn't have a way of being connected. At least not that I know of, to any recording thing. I thought I said wave being connected. I was like, No, I said way of being connected. Yeah, I realized that now, but I, I heard from I was like, I think you've been playing too much Metroid. Yeah. I heard there was someone who did some sort of modification to it for recording purposes, but I guess they no longer do it or something. That's what I've heard. Hmm. So since this this is like I said is a separate going to be a separate save, I'm willing to save here. Because I still have one with the one hundred percent. Alright, let's do this. And this room, the one that gave me nightmares. <laughs> I don't think it gave you nightmares, I think it just frustrated you in Zero Mission. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure if it's better to waste normal missiles on this or super missiles, but... Oh well, I'm going with normal ones so I have more super missiles. Hello. Oh yeah, and another thing is they said that this is actually the same mother brain, just with a, um, yeah, modification. <laughs> and that, I guess, mother brain is a rogue AI? So... Like rogue from the pirates or as in rogue from probably either the federation or the chozo or something hmm so i guess mother brain and ridley are in charge of the space pirates and let's see that modification oh i guess it's oh it's like this is the perfect time for oh 
it's you. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? It's like, it was necessary, okay? So I actually have not done this boss fight again since the time we recorded it for the last episode. So let's see if I'm any better at this. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well that was hardly fair. Ooh. I thought I hit jump. Oh dang, I'm at I'm like less than half health already. Yeah. <laughs> Can I evade this? Nope. And yeah, it's taking away all my missiles and everything else. Oh wow. Hey, I have one missile left. I wanna shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop drooling. So is there a point of de dealing damage? It, like before this? Well, I imagine you need to deal a certain amount of damage to get to this point. Hmm. Okay, so I guess right now it's using whatever that hyper beam is or whatever. And now the Metroid is absorbing that. Ah. So it can't do it again. And then it gives it to us. I think, it, I think it's still able to, but it absorbed a lot of energy, I guess. Ah. Now that's a good Super Metroid. Who's a good boy? Who's a good little life force sucker? <laughs> and so now it's giving us the energy from Mother Rain's hyper beam or whatever, I guess. So that is a clarification that was made hmm. by someone somewhere. This this entire episode is pretty much dedicated to the commenter someone somewhere. And we're sure that their source is reliable. I trust them. <laughs> All right. It's like. How dare you doubt our most <laughs> our most loyal commenter so far. I apologize. No. All right. You going to die. <laughs> I still had the one missile for some reason. What is that blue ring attack it does? That, like... Uh, I don't know, is it supposed to be like a sonic wave or something? Either that or bubbles. Alright, you dead yet? Oh yeah, that's right, I don't need to spam the button because I don't have charge beam. I can oh. just hold it down, I forgot about that. We already, we already saw that in the last <laughs> episode, but I forgot. Oh really? Wow, I, I thought we had to kill the head separately. Nope. I'm getting my Metroids mixed up. I'm sorry. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Time to escape. Again. And I gotta remember to actually use the run button. Uh, where should I go? I'm always worried is like, is there a wrong way to go and did I go that way? <laughs> Pretty much. It's always a concern. I think I need to go up this time. Oops, I fell and now I can't jump again. Well, that was rude. It's like the place is exploding and you still are worried about shooting me. I admire your discipline, but not your intelligence. Get your priorities straight. Alright, so... 
Guess I'm just going up. It wasn't that long ago that I already did this, so I should remember, but whoops. Yeah, it's been like a month. No, it has not been a month. Wait, really? Not even close. I'm sorry, it feels like a month. Just because it's been Christmas and all? I guess. So I think I can just hug the wall here. I don't know if this is what I did last time or not. I don't think so. At least not all the way. Actually, I don't know if this is faster or not than just not doing that and just going on the platforms. But oh well. It's definitely more consistent and reliable. As long as the uh, the actual space jump decides to work properly. Yeah. Oops. So I think something else I can do is go this way. I think it's what they mentioned. What? Through here. This is something they were they were planning on telling us because of fusion. So apparently these creatures are here and I can blow up something. Oh, there it is. And apparently that allows them to escape. Huh. I'm going to guess that last one eventually followed? I hope so. Otherwise, it's getting left behind. So that's interesting. So when when they told me, I thought, like, how would you figure that out? But then I realized now all the other doors were locked except for that one and the way forward. So that, yeah. that makes it easier, I guess. But who would go down there in the first place? Eh, people who like to explore, even in the midst of an explosive timer or whatever. I guess. Like, probably those who are like... I want to check every door in this scenario. See if it's locked in. Oh, this one isn't. It's a pretty cool, um... I don't know what you call it. E East? Not really Easter egg, but... A nice little explanation as to why the creatures survive. On that little dot, I guess was them. If you saw it. I thought I saw something. I thought it was a piece of rubble. <laughs> the operation was completed successfully. Clear time, 747. It's like, what do you mean that's a long run time? I just blew up a planet in less than eight hours. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty, pretty good. In real time, you know? Realistically. Yeah. And without a single coffee break. <laughs> it's like you infiltrated an enemy base and destroyed their entire planet in less than 12 hours? It's like, why don't I believe you? It's like, you can't be this good. Oh, but I am. It's like, Samus, your voice got deeper. It does that. For, dra for dramatic effect. Noted. <laughs> Unless I'm talking about the baby. Specifically in Other M? Yes. Oh boy. So, we're just gonna see if there's anything different about the actual end screen, and then that'll probably be it. Hmm. They had like one programmer for every. <laughs> I don't know. For different sections. Yeah, it's. I guess what I was gonna say is it's interesting. It's not just programmers. Yeah, you, know, you got, yeah, you know, programmer for this, programmer for that. I guess it depends on how you want want the layout of your company to be. I don't know. There's, I guess there's no written rule on how you have to have it. I suppose so. Or not. Or, eh, whatever. I'm thinking if maybe we should try doing what the Game Grumps do and try reading names that we think are different. <laughs> well, I noticed uh, the top two for this list here were 
Definitely not Japanese. <laughs> Gunpei Yokoi. Deer Force. And so we've done it. So I imagine maybe if we did it faster, we'd get something different where she takes off the suit or something. Probably. We're too slow. Yeah. Yes, 100%. So I didn't miss anything. Good enough. Because when I was looking for stuff I missed, I just pulled up like a fully detailed map and then just looked through everything for what I missed. I didn't actually look up like a list or anything. Ah. Uh. I, I wanted to do at least some of the work myself, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get that. Even when you're not doing it the right way, you still want to make it somewhat legit. Yeah, and I, I remember reading somewhere when I was looking up the map, uh, apparently there's a code you can input just by holding like multiple buttons as you enter the room where you fight that golden uh, Chozo statue enemy. I, uh -huh. think it, I think they said it was called like Golden Torizo or something like that. That apparently gives you a certain amount of upgrades and expansions. I think it's like all the upgrades except for the screw attack and then a certain amount of expansions. And by using that, it is possible to get like over 100%. Huh. <laughs> so that's an interesting thing. But I guess I guess to maximize your percentage, you have to get as few things as possible before then. Mm. All right. So I guess that's we'll, where we'll leave this one. All right, then. And uh, just wanted to mention that if if someone watching has recommendations for games, there's no guarantee I'll take them. But if it's something that I have that's not difficult to set up or it's already set up and it's something I'm willing to play, there's a good chance I'll take the suggestion if it meets all those criteria. Or I'll even consider them if they don't fit all three. But feel free to make suggestions, basically. Yeah. Even if I don't take them. They're definitely welcome. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you next mission. Indeed. <laughs>